in a neighborhood called Wagon Trails. This is in uh, the northern part and the eastern, northern, northeast part of Colorado Springs. Wonderful neighborhood, mostly built around the early 2000s. And uh, we're gonna check out one house that I just put on the market as well. So let's go ahead and just check out a few of the homes on the way to the house that we have uh, going live here today. Most of the homes in here, once again, were built in the early 2000s. This is a wonderful neighborhood in that it offers a lot of amenities that um, a lot of neighborhoods don't have. You know, it does have an HOA, but this is one of those HOAs that, that gives you stuff. You know, it has a swimming pool. It has trails that go through the community. There's a beautiful fence around the whole community. Um, it, the, it has a snack bar in there in the uh, pool area. The pool actually has lifeguards. They have swimming lessons and a swim team. They do movies. They do an Easter egg hunt. Lots of neat stuff that you don't see in many communities. And the HOA is actually very affordable. All right, so let's check out the inside of this home. When you enter this home, you're right in the living room. Okay, the living room's nice and cozy. It's got some. It's got a gas log fireplace we have going. A nice niche area for a good size television, some very high vaulted ceilings. And uh, one thing that's pretty unique about this home, it is a two-story, but the, the master bedroom's on the main, which is very unique for a two-story. Usually the master's upstairs. We have an upstairs in this home with two bedrooms and a bathroom, and we'll check that out in a second, but the master's on the main, and we'll take a look at that. But if you head this way, you'll see what the kitchen is. There is a dining area in the kitchen. Okay, so we have this eat-in area with a bay window. And then off to the left is the primary area of the kitchen with oak cabinets, Lazy Susan in the corner, a glass top stove, microwave, dishwasher, and a uh, stainless newer refrigerator. We head back this way, make a little bit of a U-turn. We've got laundry hookups in this closet. It's just a washer and dryer. It's not super deep. It's perfect size for the two units and those units will stay with the house. And then we have the master bedroom here. Good size master bedroom. Currently has a king size bed in it. The blinds here. So I'm going to do a quick peek out the window from this side. We have a really nice view of uh, Pikes Peak and a good part of the front range along with it. If you continue on, you'll see where the uh, five-piece master bath is. This bathroom has a oval tub. The commode is in its own room, which is always nice. Dual sinks. And a freestanding shower that is tiled. Right, let's continue on this way. There is a linen, I'm sorry, this is actually the stairs to the basement. We'll check that out towards the end. It's an unfinished basement, but it is a good size. As we head back towards the front of the home, this door takes you to the garage. It's a standard, well, it's a two car with a little extra space on one side. He does have cars in there, so we won't do that right now. Coat closet right here, Let's head on up. Okay, so when you come up the stairs and you peel off to the left, really good size secondary bedroom to the left, and this one's got some amazing views of the front range. Okay, we head this way, and in the middle of them, there's another full bath. It's got a single sink, but a, a bathtub and shower in one. And then we have bedroom three, that's currently being used as an office, but it has the window, it has the closet, it is surely a bedroom, and it's a good size bedroom. So. Those are the living spaces of the home. We're going to check out the basement next. It is a walkout basement. And uh, let's head on down there. And there's a door in this corner over here that takes you to the backyard. So it is a walkout. Um, we have rough ends over here, which are pipes sticking out of the concrete. And this is where a future bathroom could go. Okay? So there's an opportunity for another bathroom and another bedroom. Okay? Furnace lives right here. Newer water heater next to it and then over here is what would be ideal in my opinion 
for another bedroom space. Right here, it's already got a, a good sized window, so one could peel off and go into this bedroom, go over to the bathroom, and still have a common area over towards this end, which would be the north end of the basement. Okay? Next thing we'll do is we'll check out the deck. Okay, we're out on the deck now. And this is a really nice sized deck, plenty of room to put some patio furniture on as well and still have a grill or smoker as, uh, in addition to that. There's a, a large tree here that if one trimmed it a little bit, you'd get even more mountain views. But uh, beautiful view lot, definitely. So that's 7141 Grand Prairie in the northeast part of Colorado Springs. If you'd like to check it out, just give us a shout at the Pena team at 719-351-4083. Thanks a lot, guys.